there is a secret garden where you can plant your emotions and grow them into monsters. If you take good care of them, you'll have friends forever. But what if you don't? When Monsters Wither is an animated feature film project for the whole family. I want you to look here. Behind this big mysterious house there is a garden. But it's not like this one, or this one, or this one. This is not like any garden you've seen, I assure. Because this one is a kingdom of kids. A playground where they can experiment planting their own emotions and shape them with their imagination into monsters. Every great recipe begins with finding the right ingredients. These are ours. A bunch of monsters, kids and fun, but also one teenager, two cups of darkness, a pinch of drama and two teaspoons of sensitivity and questions about personal identity. Yeah, and this guy too. But this was a story about emotions, right? I think everyone has someone in their life that is very special. Someone who always knows how to make you laugh, but also that drives you mad like nobody else. I bet you know someone like that. In my case, it's my little brother. Just like it happens to the protagonist of our story. Hugo is a 15 years old teenager that has to take care of his little brother, Nico, who is 10, because their parents aren't at home. They are very different from each other. Hugo always has everything planned and tries to keep it all under control, even if sometimes it's not easy. Meanwhile, Nico is... well, Nico. He loves looking for adventure, and the most important thing, bugs. Well, and plants, rocks, dirt, these sort of things that Nico calls treasures, but Hugo calls troubles. Our story begins when Nico brings something new to home, his own monster. But things don't go as planned and the monster runs away and gets lost in the dark of the forest. Hugo and Nico will have to find him, but they won't be alone in their journey. They can count on Napier, who's an excellent tracker, and she's also a great cook. Pebbles, a monster that despises its size, acts as a protector for the group, and Alethea, who's Nico's best friend and has a unique vision of life due to be a child raised by the monsters. Their journey will take us from the common world, ordinary but full of mystery, and inspired by Asturias, the region from the north of Spain where I come from, to the magical, playful and childish garden of monsters, and then even further, where the withered monsters live. But who are these withered monsters? Let's go back to what we said at the beginning. If you plant your emotions and grow them into a monster, but you fail at taking good care of them, if you don't learn to deal with them properly, they can get sick. That's what is called the withering, an illness that makes monsters change physically. But also they tend to become less friendly, sometimes lonely, and even aggressive. Some of these monsters live away from the well-kept part of the garden, in the darkest of the woods and they are ruled by the most fearsome of all of them, the Hound, who, surprise, is the antagonist of the movie. This is a very personal story. I had the idea of a garden of monsters a few years ago, but it took a long time until I started to write it. Between these two moments, I faced a time of struggle in my life. I went through a depressive episode. That meant for me, feeling lonely, but avoiding being with people, the loss of joy, constant mood changes. Sounds familiar? Yes, I was withered. So when I began to write this story, it became a whole new thing. The bad monsters turned into monsters who struggle with themselves. They weren't evil anymore, but ill creatures that need help. And Hugo was now related to this too. Due to the absence of his parents, who has to take a lot of responsibilities and this makes him feel overwhelmed sometimes. That's why he tries to have everything under control. But emotions are something that we can control, right? So he had an idea, to get rid of them by planting them. And spoiler, it's not a good solution. So these emotions grew and grew and grew until they became the Hound. The most fearsome of all monsters. 
This would lead Hugo to finally face his emotions and for the first time show his vulnerability. That's why this isn't just a trip to save the garden. This isn't just an adventure movie, but a coming of age story, an emotional journey to find the strength necessary to be vulnerable and discover who we are as individuals and who we want to be. But with monsters. So, this is Where Monsters Wither. I'm Adrian and I'm the director and creator of the idea. And I'm Pablo, I draw stuff. When I began to write this story, I immediately thought, okay, I'm going to need some help. So, Adrian came to me with the idea and I thought to myself, a project where I get to draw monsters every day. And I was like, I'm in. So, for the next year, we developed the story, the characters made some art, a presentation, and we sent it to Sony Talent League without really expecting anything from it. And, surprise, we got selected with some other amazing projects. And for the last three months, we've been working really hard on it with the direction of some great mentors. Yeah, so the first thing we have done is to take a step back from what we have developed before so we can uh, focus more on what was really important for this project. And we wanted to communicate why this story is important to us in the best way possible. Yeah, and something really important to us was the authenticity of the idea. Uh, so we did a lot of research, we went to a botanical garden, and also Adrian took me to his hometown in the north of Spain. So we took a lot of walks, we took photographs, we made art. So we came back with a lot of new ideas and a lot of energy to work again. Yeah, but this is go and this this was just the starting point for the project right now we want to keep working on the project and developing it and for that we are going to need some help so uh we are looking for writers artists animators but also fundings so investors and uh, producers are also welcome and we want to explore also the possibilities of this world we have created by making a, a comic strip that we can share in social media, graphic novel, a short film. Yeah. Um, before we go, we have something else to show you, something we've been working on a lot alongside uh, the pitch, and it's something we are really excited uh, to share with you. Yeah. So, thank you very much. We will be delighted to answer all your questions, and enjoy. Bye-bye. Our world is full of mysteries, strange places, strange paths that lead you into the dark. And if you follow them, if you dare to cross the door, you will find monsters. Yeah, they are nice. Welcome to the Secret Garden of Monsters. A place where you plant your emotions and grow them. Into monsters. You will have to water them, feed them, trim them. Well, you know, take care of them. Because if you don't, they will wither. Are you ready? to face your monsters?